Hey, monthly update for January. Uh, it's been a pretty busy month. It's an interesting one because it's a pretty quiet month here in New Zealand in terms of rugby stuff. There's not a whole lot on. I think most of the Southern Hemisphere is probably pretty similar uh, in that regard, but it's been full of Champions Cup stuff. Super Rugby did just get underway at the end of January. And um, yeah, the, the Six Nations started uh, as well. So it's all kind of been on in January, a bit of a rest. And then right back into things. So yeah, I'll give you guys a quick update on how the channel's going. Uh, what's been in the news recently and uh, some of the kind of things that are coming up so it's an interesting one whenever you log into YouTube uh, if you've got a channel because YouTube gives you a breakdown on how things have been going are you doing better are you doing worse by how much and YouTube's been telling me this month I didn't do that well 224 subscribers it said for January which is pretty happy with seeing as uh, this month well, this month's just gone. Like I said, it's pretty quiet down here. Um, but apparently, YouTube tells me, oh, you know, you used to get 400 to 1600 a month. What's going on, Mr. Two Cents? I don't think YouTube quite gets the whole World Cup was probably a bit of a bumper season for, for rugby. So don't compare my numbers to the World Cup numbers, please. It's demotivational. But yeah. 224 for the month of January. Uh, very cool stuff. The most viewed video was actually the Jacques Nineba appointment as South Africa's uh, head coach one. So that's kind of not surprising. Um, that was a pretty big thing. Delayed. It was supposed to be done last year, but they only got it done at the start of the year. So yeah, that was a big bit of news. But interestingly, if you look in the analytics, you can see all kinds of stuff about is it male, female watching your videos? Is it uh, what part of the world? Apparently it's the UK in January. 26% of the viewers from the UK. Uh, South Africa was second, I guess, which ties into that uh, Ninaba thing. New Zealand was third, and I've been doing a lot of Super Rugby previews, so that's probably part of that as well. Um, but yeah, it was an interesting look uh, at some of those some of those stats. What else can you see apart from our oh, age? Yeah, there's lots of stuff that you can look at. Um, subscribe, not subscribed. Apparently only 40% of people who watch the videos have subscribed, so if you're that 60%, smash that subscribe button. Well, just push it once. Anyway, um, patrons, I'll roll the names up of my patrons here uh, who support me on Patreon. Uh, the support they give me is, is truly awesome, so it's much appreciated. Uh, if you would like to add your name to this floating list uh, of people who are supporting me like, like this person, um, yeah man, check the link in the description. I've got a Patreon page you can jump on for as little uh, as a dollar a month. I mean, I did 46 YouTube videos this month, which is probably, you may have had enough of me after 46 videos, to be fair, but there's an additional five ones that I did for Patreon, including a discussion about the salary cap in rugby, about, I reviewed the Stormers jersey for 2020, um, I reviewed Dan Carter's movie, A Perfect Ten, it was a belated review, but I reviewed that, my man Wallace sent me that, that DVD, so thank you Wallace for the DVD, um, so yeah, a bit of interesting stuff. Uh, in the month of January so yeah but thank you to those people their support really does help I'm trying to build the patreon thing um, so I can potentially eventually one of these days reduce my hours at my regular job and watch more rugby that's the dream just putting that out there so if you are willing check out the link um, but otherwise if you're not just subscribe man like the videos it all helps um what else a bit of rugby news some kind of good news like uh michael fatialofa who was injured uh and playing in the premiership a wee while ago now he's out of like intensive care and into a spinal rehab clinic he's still in pretty bad shape from the look of things but his life is not immediately in danger which is like the number one uh bit of good news so uh, he's going to be doing his rehab. It looks like his wife's uh, taking pretty good care of him along with all the doctors and nurses and whatnot. So might be a bit of a long road for him, but we wish him all the best. Uh, it is just good news that, you know, he's he's in a stable condition and um, yeah, needs to just start his recovery process, rehab process now. Um, also, there was an interesting one because it's all through my work at the moment, my day job, the coronavirus. Um, I know all about it because I've been attending... Uh, a few meetings about it at my work and obviously it's all in the news uh, in China and it's it's 
in small amounts in other countries as well, but for Global Rapid Rugby. And if you don't know what that is, that's uh, one of the teams which got cut from Super Rugby, the Western Force. Um, their um, billionaire owner set up his own rugby competition uh, called Global Rapid Rugby. And they were going to have a Chinese team, the China Lions, I think based in Shanghai, but uh, it's supposed to start in March. The coronavirus may affect uh, those plans. I think there's also a Hong Kong team. So that's kind of going to be one to watch. And how that virus goes generally may affect all kinds of plans, like uh, health insurance. Not just health insurance, travel insurance is all kind of up the spout at the moment with, um, yeah, with all kinds of coverage not being recognized for anything relating to the coronavirus, even if it's your flight gets canceled because of something related, like two steps away, they still might cancel it. So yeah, it's all very... Um, all very troublesome and I guess worrying and if you're in China then pretty terrible but yeah it still may even affect us on a rugby level which is yeah which is which is bad because we want to see the game spread globally but um, people's health is always the number one thing and another one uh, which is why I got the MLR jersey up there and to be fair I did wear that jersey to work the other day on a casual Friday people love that jersey like, I never get comments about my work shirts but that one people wanted to know all about it new england free jacks mlr jersey people love it um chris robshaw at the end of his season he's leaving harlequins to go and play in the mlr so we're seeing more and more players go to the mlr man uh i think that's pretty good news i was just talking about spreading the uh, the game globally that's a bit of good news i mean not for harlequins that they lose a guy who's been with the club so long but i mean he's maybe at that stage of his career where he wants to do something uh, a little bit different so yeah good for him good for MLR hope he enjoys his time there that season I think is it's about to kick off this coming weekend so I don't know that I'll be able to see any of the games this weekend because we got seven super rugby games on plus three six nations games so my my allotted time is probably done given that I've also got a not totally abandon my two children. Um, I mean, yes, I spend plenty of time playing with the kids and taking them to swimming lessons and whatnot. Don't worry about that. But um, yeah, maybe the weekend after, I'll see if I can catch a game or two of the old MLR. But um, yeah, as again, like thanks to my people on Patreon. Support is always awesome. And like the messages um, that get sent there, I always check them pretty quickly. Compared to YouTube comments, which I am way behind on, I haven't replied to YouTube comments for a long time, so sorry guys if I've been a bit absent from there, it's been busy, but um, yeah, thanks to those people, thanks for commenting on the videos, thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, all that kind of good stuff, it's been a good month, February's going to be pretty awesome, we've got the continuation of the Six Nations, Super Rugby's going to be entering rounds two, three, four, five, um, there's a holiday here this Thursday, which is a good thing here in New Zealand. A bit of time off. It's so hot. Like New Zealand, you look at New Zealand's temperature, it's never that hot. You think 27 degrees is not that hot, but it is humid, man. It's muggy, so it's it's pretty unpleasant. Um, but yeah, plenty of rugby stuff to come up, guys. Um, yeah, any comments, chuck them in the comments. Uh, Patreon link down in the description if you want a link to it there. Have a check it out. And um, yeah. I'll talk to you guys again soon. See you later.